welcome to Guernsey. Thank you. Thank I, you. I know it's not your first visit, and with a name like Le Measurer, you must have some local connections. Now, am I in fact right? Yes. Uh, the, um, I don't know whether there are any now, but they, they certainly were, you know, years and years ago. I've never lived here in these islands, but uh, the connections I rather gather that I have are from one of the other islands in, in Alderney. Oh, yes. I know there are lots about dotted about all over the place. Yes. So, but, so your uh, connections go back to Alderney? Yes, right? they do, yes. I, I have a tree somewhere which uh, <laughs> <laughs> is lurking about somewhere in some drawer yeah. that I haven't uh, taken out recently. I suppose a programme like Dad's Army has, has been good to you, but I, I also think of some of the excellent straight parts mm. we, we've seen you in. Do you have a preference for comedy? Um... Well, not really, no. I, I think, as I've said so often, it all comes down, really, in the final analysis to the script, the words, and how they're written. Whether it happens to be labelled a comedy or a drama, it doesn't really matter. But if the, if the words, if the script is right, um, then everything sort of follows, provided it's presumably well cast and reasonably well performed and directed then it comes out all right. I think it's when you're fighting against, and there's an awful lot of bad writing in comedy, I think, these days. And I've been involved in some myself in my life, uh, when you have to sort of sit around a table and think, oh, my God, how am I going to say this and that and try and alter it? You know, and it's nice sometimes, that it is, as it happened in, in, in that time, that we didn't have to make a lot of alterations, and particularly in the writing of uh, Simpson and Galton. Alan mm. Simpson, Ray Galton. Mm. You saw one of their scripts, and that was it. It was there, funny, on the printed page. But whether I, I prefer that to... Um, I think that if you're in a play, obviously there's more to get into by virtue of the fact that it's longer <laughs> than the sort of statutory um, half-hour situation comedy. Mm. And uh, this, again, exactly the same applies if it's, if it's well written um, and it has something to say which might be different, and, and it enables the actor concerned to uh, to stretch themselves and do something a little different, then it is obviously fulfilling, and one is fortunate to, to be asked to do that. I was saying a little while ago, you, an actor gets a, um, a good part about, about once every five years, really. That's about all. Yes, I had a, a shock. About every five years, mm. time, something. If you're lucky, and some people don't ever have that. I mean, they go on in the same, you know what I mean, mm. same, stuck in the same thing very often. I must say I was very surprised to see you in Ben-Hur the other night. Oh, yes, yeah, did you? <laughs> yes. Good eyesight, have you? Mm. <laughs> What's it like getting involved in a film of such epic proportions? Well, that was all right. I was out there for quite a long time because... Uh, um, well, it's really like anything else, except well, it, it was different in that one was out there for a long while to do very little. Uh, but it enabled one to, to, to see Rome. I think it was my first... Yes, it was my first time to Rome. I've been there since to work. But that was my first occasion, I think, to work. And so one was able to see Rome and uh, go out and watch and see some of the filming, some of the chariot race, which was, of course, fascinating. It was Terrific all there on the back yeah. lot at uh, uh, Trinicita outside Rome, and I met a lot of interesting people. And uh, uh, from that point of view, you know, it's, it's nice. I love going on location. I'm going on location supposedly in July for Disney on a movie which takes us to Annick Castle, which I believe is near Newcastle. Is the cinema in Northumberland. really your first love, or do you consider I think it is song? really, but uh, uh, um, basically I've always wanted to be in, in the movies.